Let me introduce you to a power that you don't really realize. You've got willpower and decision making. You can tell your brain, the shaitan will not overcome me. He will not. Listen to what Allah says in the Quran. وَقَالَ قَرِينُهُ رَبَّنَا مَا أَطْغَيْتُهُ وَلَكِنْ كَانَ فِي ضَلَالٍ بَعِيدٍ And on the day of judgment, the Qareen, your shaitan that you are born with, it's called the Qareen, will say, Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, I did not make him or her go astray, but they were just too far away. You know, they, they made themselves vulnerable. They kept giving me that power and they just listened to me. Iblis himself will make a khutbah. <laughs> and he's a sheikh, sheikh Iblis. He will make a khutbah in hellfire. Stand up and say, everyone, because you know when someone enters prison, all right, he's going to cop it from other people. So he's entered hellfire and he says, listen everyone, and when all the matters have ended in the day of judgment, he's gone into hellfire. Everyone of the people of the hellfire, I invited you and you listened. I did not force you. I did not pressure you. I did not threaten you. I had absolutely no power over you. I just whispered. And I promised you things and I lied. I promised you and I lied. So do not blame me and I won't hold anything against you. Every man to himself. Do we have, are we, have we agreed? So brothers and sisters, we need to change our mindset. We need to change our mindset and stop giving power to things that don't have that power. I promise you, Allah, if you try this, make a decision in your head to say, I'm no longer going to give any room for these intrusive thoughts. You have no room. Oh, here he comes again. It's the street. I'm not giving you any room. Make that decision. You have a willpower, Wallahi. In the beginning, it's hard and it'll slowly go away. And then replace it with distractions, other things, inshallah. Have you ever heard of neuroplasticity? Neuroplasticity. So, you know, there are channels in your brain that we block because we don't use them often. But then suddenly you read another book or you do something else or you start something you haven't ever done before and a new channel opens up. A new neurotransmission happens through those neurons, right? You open up a new pathway. Suddenly you gain some skills you never thought you had, gain some powers you never thought you had. And obviously you say, oh Allah, assist me against my D uh, desires and do not give the shaitan any power against me. And if you do and you fall weak to the shaitan, this is what you do. You go back and say, Astaghfirullah al -Azim. You go back and you pray a couple of rak'ahs. You go and do a good deed. And finally, I'll tell you this. Mu'adh, the young man, came up to the Prophet and said, Ya Rasulullah, advise me. He said, Atbi'i sayyi'at al tamhuna Every time you do something wrong, follow it up with a good deed, it'll wipe it away. You know, the shaitan hates that. That's why he comes back at you. Every time, just wipe it away, wipe it away, wipe it away. And know that the battle between you and him will never be over until the soul leaves your body. So always remember, you do something wrong, easy. Go and do something good. You do something wrong, go and do something good. And you always wipe it away and the shaitan will get weaker, inshallah.